Okay, so OnePlus have started rolling out Android 14 developer preview for OnePlus 11. In this video, we'll talk about the changes what we get to see with this first developer preview of Android 14 and we'll also take a look at the bugs present on this build. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 11 on which I have already installed Android 14 developer preview 1. If we go to about section, it still says Oxygen OS 13. But if you go to Android version, here it says Android 14, which comes with 5th April 2023 security patch. And we get to see Android 13 Easter egg instead of Android 14. It's just an Android 14 with Oxygen OS 13 skins. And build number also says 14.0.0.40. If you guys wish to install, then you need to install it manually. But I don't recommend anyone to install it on your primary phone. For testing purpose, you guys can proceed. So here you can see I have a file present on my OnePlus 11. Once you download the file, you just have to go to settings, about section, tap on version, tap on build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. After that, you have to go back, tap on Oxygen OS and from here you need to tap on these three dots. You'll get an option of local install, tapping on it. Now you can select the file which you have downloaded. Once you select it, the installation process will automatically start. The file size is somewhere around 5.6 GB. And it's a developer preview so don't expect stability and every feature of android 14 and before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel that will motivate us in making better content with quality so first of all talking about the basic functionalities which works fine like calling wi-fi fingerprint bluetooth etc We'll be testing it more in depth and keep you guys posted. Now talking about some of the UI changes, basically there are no major changes in the UI if you compare it with Oxygen OS 13 or 13.1. And one of the change which I noticed and that's in the status bar icon. So whenever you use the alert slider to switch between different modes, you can see the vibration icon is a little bit different compared to Oxygen OS 13. Here you can see the difference. Towards the left hand side, I have my OnePlus 10 Pro, which is running Oxygen OS 13. And towards the right hand side, OnePlus 11, the vibrator icon is completely different now. And also the text present in status bar is quite smaller compared to Oxygen OS 13. Icons are bigger, but the text is small. Next change, what you guys will notice and that's in the lock screen so here you can see the music player on the lock screen it's quite large compared to oxygen os 13 on 13 it was compact and you also get to see this wavy format which we have seen on pixel smartphones and on this build you'll notice kind of bloatware stuff if you go to launcher settings scroll down under carousel wallpaper there's an option of lock screen magazine which is not present on oneplus 10 and i hope oneplus doesn't add this thing in the beta or stable builds though you can add nine photos from the gallery and if you want system to automatically choose that can also be done from here also we get to see the predictive gestures from android 14 and that can be found in the developer settings by default it's disabled so you need to enable it first so here you can see there's an option in the developer settings which is called predictive back animation and if you enable it, so let me enable and now you can see this predictive gesture in action. Right now this only works for the settings page. And if you restart the device, this will stop working. You have to again disable and enable it again. Now PIP mode do have these rounded corners instead of that squarish which we get to see on Oxygen OS 13 or 13.1. In the settings page, I wasn't able to discover anything new in this short period but I'll try to find out more changes and keep you guys posted in upcoming videos. We don't get to see any new feature from Android 14 related to privacy and security and not even in the battery section. It's just a name of Android 14 with Oxygen OS 13 skins nothing else. In future, we might get to see more add-ons with UI changes which will be obviously Oxygen OS 14 skin. Now let's talk about some of the bugs which I have noticed during my usage. I'm not sure it's a bug or this is how it's going to be. You can see the notification panel. The first notification corners on the top side are more curved compared to the bottom one. I don't consider it as a bug. This might be the design in notification panel. Another bug is layer 2 alert slider. So whenever we switch the alert slider or you can say changing the different modes, we don't get to see the pop-up which generally used to appear towards the right hand side where alert slider is placed. And you won't have an option to add your OnePlus account. So if I try to add the OnePlus account, that doesn't get added on this developer preview. Though it was already added before, but soon I installed this build, it automatically got removed. And if you go to settings, user and accounts, here we don't have an option to add the account also which is of OnePlus. 
and there's a screenshot which i would like to show you guys so here you can see that screenshot i had an incoming call from flipkart but during that incoming call it was showing my own number here's the other example you can see bottom side i cannot show you guys that's my number and towards the top side that's the number of flipkart next bug is layer to youtube so whenever you start to play any video the entire system starts to lag you can see the jitters while scrolling around even if I use the volume panel that also lags a lot so this is another issue which is layered to YouTube and after that if you try to switch between the guest mode and user mode the device UI is completely unresponsive so I was testing out this thing and my entire device was unresponsive later I had to restart the device to fix it and later you'll also notice this random pop-up which says STDID keeps stopping camera also seems to be laggy but you can click pictures towards the left hand side you can see that screen recording switching between different modes the screen blacks out for a few milliseconds but still the camera is usable and here are some of the known issues which oneplus have mentioned on their forum and if you see the last one which says screen flashes when taking pictures with front camera in whatsapp but for me i had no issues i tried testing out this and it was working fine here so guys this was all about android 14 developer preview for oneplus 11 if you guys have any kind of questions then do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a great day some batter in your brain uh, that's why to say fake it till you make it a eh? and if you play that game then you just might